All right, so the saga continues. We got the inspection, the floor's closed up, and now we gotta set this five foot, one piece shower unit inside of a five foot one wide bathroom. And it's not an easy task. I had to cut two studs out of the way to spin it around, get it in the right direction, and then come up with a plan with Nemo. I said, Nemo, we're gonna pick this sucker up. We're gonna drop it down after the toilet riser and before the shower riser. Then I'm gonna have to sneak myself out of that little hole and uh, figure out how to get that thing over the drain. And then Nemo came up with a brilliant idea. He said, well, look at me, sneaking out of here like your sister's husband just showed up and I need a quick getaway. But Nemo told me to, why don't you go in the attic and grab it with one hand and I'll guide it into the hole. I said, listen, you're gonna make someone's sister real nervous when they see this. Just kidding, she probably enjoy that thing. So now we got it up on two by fours and we gotta get the drain set on it. And we're gonna use this drain. I know everybody's probably holding their breath right now. Like, man, he's really gonna use this drain. Listen, there's no access below, so we're gonna give it a shot. Worst cases, I make access below. It's the kitchen ceiling, it's sheetrock. I cut a hole open in it, and then I change it out to a glue one. But right now, we're gonna try to save that and just use this thing. If you put plenty of caulk on this thing, it probably will be satisfied, just like your sister on a Saturday night. But before we get to that part, we're just gonna go ahead and mix some mortar, cause guess what? Structolite's not normal in my area. You can't find it around here. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going out of my way. Plus the directions tell you to use mortar. And I can't use spray foam because it just, it's kind of like the old gentleman with ProPress. I just can't bring myself to putting spray foam on the, imagine a plumber showing up to your house with a couple of cans of spray foam. Like, yeah, I'm here to set your tub. <laughs> I just can't do it, man. You might as well, Matt, it's like me going there with Flex Seal. Like, oh, you got a leak? I'm here to fix it. So we're going to stick with mortar and uh, we're going to create a firm base. That way the, the drain that I use will have less likely leak. So now that we got all the mortar spread out, I made it a little soupy. That way I can push it over to the back corner that I can't get to. Nemo slides out the two by fours and we drop that sucker over the drain. Now we got to set the drain. And uh, that's an inside pipe cutter for PVC, and it's got a quarter inch adapter to go inside that thing so you don't lose it down the drain. Once you get it cut below, you put some more caulk in there and slide the rubber over that sucker. And now everybody's going to say, you can't leave that tool in the drain. But guess what, everybody? I haven't ran water down the shower, so why would I get that tool out of the drain and then not go back there for a month while they sheetrock and then lose the tool and then have a problem and need that tool, but it's not in the same spot it should be? You get where I'm going with that? Anywho, we're moving on to the shower valve, and, uh, I mean, there's not much left to do here. I, I already did all the tie-ins in the basement, and... Uh, I think when I come back, I just got to set a toilet and a vanity and then put the shower head on. So easy finish as long as that drain doesn't leak. And don't worry, if it does leak, you will all know about it because I'm not going to hide that sucker. But there it is, all said and done, and we're moving on to the next one. I did use PEX as a riser for my toilet, but don't worry, it'll be chrome when 